Remember when then-candidate Donald Trump said this. My opponent wants sanctuary cities. But where was the sanctuary for Kate Steinle? That question still looms after last week's not guilty verdict in the murder of Kate Steinle. Our next guest expands on that in his new Wall Street Journal op-ed. Joining us right now is Manhattan Institute senior fellow, Fox News contributor, and the author of False Black Power, Jason Riley. Jason, good morning to you. Good morning. You know, uh, Friday morning we woke up to the news. Mm -hmm. People were shocked. How could that person not have been found guilty right. of her uh, killing? Clearly, he's the guy who pulled the trigger. Clearly. I mean, you, you have a seven-time felon who should not have been in the country in the first place uh, firing a stolen pistol right. and killing someone, and he essentially gets off with a hand slap, I think, if, uh, if you ask me. I mean, the jury went so easy on him. I just think it has a lot of people shaking their heads, saying, how could this happen? The last line of your Wall Street Journal is so, uh, column is so provocative. You say... Kate Steinle may also have been a victim of ideological driven jurors looking to send a message to the president. Yes, uh, we, we know that, that, that Donald Trump is not very popular in San Francisco. I think fewer than 10 percent of, uh, he won less than 10 percent of the vote there last year. And it could be that these jurors were simply going to send a message to the president. He had made illegal immigration a big deal in his campaign, and perhaps they wanted to push back. Because it's hard to see them looking at the circumstances of this case and deciding that this guy uh, should get off the way he did. Sure. And when you, you know, he was deported five times, seven times felon, he shot the gun three times, yeah. and then initially, I think in the first police report, he said, I was uh, shooting at the seals, and then I threw the, water, uh, the gun into yeah. the water. Yeah. The, the other thing to remember here is this. This guy did not slip through the cracks. It's not like someone in San Francisco screwed up when they released him. That was the policy, Steve. And the, and the real tragedy here, or the additional tragedy, is that it remains the policy. San Francisco is not changing its policy. He would be released again today. And as the President of the United States said when he was a candidate, where was the sanctuary for her? Exactly. I think it's reasonable for Americans to think that our immigration policy should promote the safety of Americans over the safety of foreign nationals. And that is not what was done in this case. Uh, read all about it in the Wall Street Journal. <laughs> Uh, Jason, thank you very much. A really interesting column. Thank you.